and Adele is going to talk to us about the, what the future could look for the unit. Over to you, Adele. Thank you very much. I just wait for my slides to come up. It's a bit of a hard act to follow all of that. Very interesting discussion. Uh, so, um, so with this, obviously, I'm coming from the commissioner's uh, perspective. Uh, next slide, please. So I think we've covered some of the historical background. So there was obviously a previous uh, mother and baby unit in Llang Dock in Sully, which closed in 2001. I also understand there were some beds in the University College Hospital as well. So the demand didn't go away. We needed to relook and we needed to reopen and to understand how we took the mother and baby unit forward. So that resulted with engagement with the stakeholders and Welsh Government, which then further resulted with an options appraisal to consider the location and clinical model. And we know the new unit was opened in Tonna in April last year. Next slide, please. So over the last year, we've worked hard with the team in Tonna. We've great team there, great relationships. Uh, we've need you did understand how the MBU pathway is working and we've addressed um, some issues, some areas we've not considered, which have arisen during the course of the year. So as mentioned, currently a review of the service is underway, which is due to complete by the second quarter of this year. Next slide, please. So this is just a very basic slide. It's just showing how many out of area placements that we would have commissioned. It's from uh, 2019 to April, 2022. So as you can see in the last year, the number of out of area placements we have has definitely decreased. Next slide, please. So some women we still need to look at out of area placements for. They may not be suitable for admission to the unit and more specialist care may be required. Mid and North Wales continue to have a choice of being admitted at the moment to the South Wales unit or to an NHS England unit, which may be closer to home. Sometimes we have to facilitate an interim placement if there is no room at honour uh, and obviously repatriation will be done as quickly as we possibly can. Next slide please. So we've talked a little bit about the MB, MBU review and purpose. So with many of the quality standards and the environmental and staffing models, they're based on the Royal College of Psychiatry standards for inpatient mental health services. So we will be looking at those in relation to the MBU. Within these, patient experience and family feedback are incorporated. Therefore, the review will provide a baseline of where we are now, a description of the future service, where we want to be, and an outline of how will we get there. Next slide, please. So the review process. So the review is being undertaken and uh, by the team in Tonna and supported by WESC. So included within this are the key quality standards, which are described in the service specification and key performance indicators developed to assess these. The team in Tonna have developed their own reporting tools, including an excellent scorecard in a number of areas. They've worked with teams within the perinatal mental health network to ensure they have peer review and expert support. The scorecard is reported into us in WISC on a monthly basis. Next slide, please. So these, this is just one slide. This is just a one-off to show an example of current data obtained about admissions. Obviously within the review, this will be supported by a great deal more narrative. So as we've already discussed, 39 patients admitted, and you can see kind of where the occupancy is, where we've had peaks, and you can see where the median is as well. And this is up until June of this year. Next slide, <laughs> thank you. So how, how, does, uh, how, does, how do we gain assurance and what is the reporting into WISC? So we have a mental health 
uh, team within WISC and reporting comes into that. We also have Quality Patient Safety Committee and Quality Patient Safety Committee will have independent members from all health boards. And then we report into the Joint Committee. We also have a service level agreement with Swansea Bay University and we have joint quality meetings between Swansea Bay and WISC. And always with the MBO, as ever with all our services, there's always an open communication channel between the team and us in WISC. Next slide, please. So prior to Ened Goldberg uh, opening last year, there had been an option appraisal undertaken with Swansea Bay stakeholders and the uh, public to address the best location of the service. The initial option was for a new build within the NEAT site. Due to some delay and the availability of the Tonna site, it was decided to work with the agreement of Welsh Government to open an interim model on the Tonna site. There was also an agreement for an evaluation, the review we're currently undertaking uh, when this had been operational for a year. Next slide, please. So North and Mid Wales position. <clears throat> so as we've already discussed, Work is ongoing with NHS England to facilitate commissioning of designated beds in North Wales and North Powys. Work has been delayed due to the configuration of integrated care systems within the trusts in NHS England and with NHS E securing the capital funding. A consultation and engagement document was circulated in the last week to the public and stakeholders within North Wales. Site visits have taken place involving Welsh clinicians and a meeting, the meeting referred to, which went ahead last Friday with NHSE to develop an outline business case. And that's me, and I think the questions will be in the, uh, in the sidebar. Diolch am fawr iawn. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you very much, Adele, for that.